All right, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to tackle texture. But first, I'm going to adjust the values a little bit to further enhance my focal point. So I selected all, copied, paste, and I multiplied the layer on top. So layer one has been multiplied. Now I play with the opacity to, to kind of push and pull my contrast. Then once I like it, I go ahead and flatten it and uh, and so in this video we're we're going to be using a little bit more of a variety of brushes um, we'll be playing with the sergeant brush we'll be playing with the uh, some of the artists brushes like impressionists um, creates a lot of really nice texture some of the uh, brushes that I'll use are the chalk brush so and this is where I start to also correct maybe some of the problems you know right now I'm I'm going through the painting and uh, not just uh, starting to develop texture and some visual interest to the painting but to start correcting the you know areas where I'm not real satisfied the boat right now doesn't look very Viking-esque so when I get to detail I'll change that so while I'm building the painting I'm also identifying uh, problem areas so in the texture you'll see creating a new layer and sometimes I'll go really uh, bright with the texture and then just drop the opacity down so that it kind of marries with the color that's that's underneath so I could kind of use a, a bit of a hard brush uh, right now I'm using the impressionist brush I find the impressionist brush nice for developing ground planes uh, like you see some bark on the tree and then I'll drop the opacity down so it's not so high key uh, and intense so this is kind of my fun part of of a painting I've got the lighting set I've got the composition uh, is where I like it it's a reverse L uh, with the action cutting against the grain and you know here just starting to play with texture I use direct you know brushes to create direct paint texture so those are a variety of brushes like the impressionist brush and sometimes the Van Gogh brush for to kind of create some dappling of leaves um, I'll go back to the uh, some chalk brushes especially in detail and uh, then go back to some of my uh, favorite brushes you'll also see that uh, as the painting moves forward texture again is is what really kind of gives it life but you don't really want to overdo the texture um, so I have two methods of creating texture one is a uh, direct application with brushwork and so I'll play it on that's when I create a few new layers if you notice I don't paint with a lot of layers I'm not a big fan of of uh, of the layers you know because I kind of paint like I do analog so here I've gone in to uh, grab a random texture this is this is an art table mess some of my illustrator friends and I share a lot of textures so we'll take pictures of just about everything this is just a kind of an art table that I uh, have a photo of and uh, I drop it in and I hit it with an overlay layer function this gives me some randomized texture so I'm going to do it again and in certain areas uh, let it really kind of really sink the full version of Corel painter has the absolutely phenomenal uh, function of of texture brushes and you can import these and I have imported a lot of my favorite textures that I like to paint with one of the things I don't do is I don't use texture for texture and what I mean by that is I don't use the bark of a tree to overlay to the bark of a tree because I want it to feel painted this is I use this technique even when I use analog and it's uh, quite fascinating that I'll put uh, paint random paint on cell vinyl or a uh, cell I'm sorry uh, or duraline clear plastic sheet and then just roll it over my analog painting to create some random textures so the texture stage is kind of fun because some of it is randomized some of it I like some of it I don't and what I don't like I'll ultimately paint out of 
of the uh, of the composition. So that's basically how I use texture. I use both direct paint application of texture and I also randomize texture. And again, in the full version of Corel Painter, they have uh, wonderful texture brushes that you could use.